For Andrea Kenny, this is a rite of spring. At this time of year, Andrea Kenny is hit with a double whammy. Her seasonal allergies flare up. Symptoms include a runny nose, sneezing, and itchy eyes. But she also has asthma, and it can be extremely difficult to manage both conditions. Just like the game Jenga, where players have to strike the right balance with wooden blocks, for those with asthma and seasonal allergies, the spring kicks off a season of balancing acts, from managing medications to steering clear of triggers. Seasonal allergens affect my asthma by making me feel short of breath, like I'm breathing through a wet face cloth, which is very tiring, and that compromises my ability to work, and it also limits my ability to enjoy the outdoors. I manage both my seasonal allergies and my asthma piece by piece. I avoid the outdoors at certain times of the day. I check in with my allergist before spring pollen season to make sure that I'm striking the right balance of medications for both my nose and my lungs. Spring is one of the most troublesome times of year for people with these two conditions. Trees and grass release pollen, and the number of mold spores in the air rise dramatically. Physicians who specialize in the treatment of airway diseases say patients need to understand how to manage both asthma and seasonal allergies. Dr. Alan Kaplan chairs the Family Physician Airways Group of Canada. Having both asthma and seasonal allergies is a real challenge for the patients. These two common conditions frequently coexist. And in fact, you have to treat one well to get the other condition under control. In order to do this, you often require a whole number of different medications and treatments. This makes the patient's life very complicated. It would be nice to be able to simplify the regime of medications for our patients. This would really allow our patients to keep their lives in balance. Scientists believe asthma and seasonal allergies are actually different facets of the same disease. Inhaling allergens like pollen or mold triggers an allergic reaction in the nose area, while airborne asthma irritants may cause inflammation in the airways. I advise our patients that have both asthma and seasonal allergies to get in and see their physician. Map out a strategy with their doctor to decide how to investigate what they're allergic to, to decide on what treatments they should have both before the season and during the season so that they can get their conditions under control and keep their life in a good balance. Dr. Kaplan's association has teamed up with the Asthma Society and the Allergy Asthma Information Association to raise awareness of the link between asthma and seasonal allergies. The Keep Your Balance campaign provides information for patients affected by asthma and seasonal allergies to help them understand how to manage their symptoms and enjoy their daily activities. For information, you can visit www.asthma.ca or www.aaia.ca or Call your doctor. Martin Vanderwood reporting.